unanimous consent to address the House for five minutes. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, it is with great sadness that I rise to urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to pass the American Dream Act. This past weekend, I learned of the tragic death of Joaquin Luna, a senior student at Juarez Lincoln High School in Mission, Texas, who took his life because he believed that he would never be able to fulfill his dream of becoming an engineer, earning his citizenship, and leading a full and prosperous life in America. Brought to the United States as an infant, Joaquin attended our nation's public schools, played the guitar at his church, and hoped to go to college and achieve the American dream. I cannot express the sorrow I feel on the loss of such a talented young man. I want to extend my heartfelt condolences to Joaquin's family and friends. I cannot imagine the pain they are suffering. It is heartbreaking to know that many of us in the U.S. House of Representatives passed the DREAM Act at this time last year to see the legislation held up in the Senate by a vote of 55 to 41. Today, as Joaquin Luna's body is laid to rest, I believe it is imperative to underscore the urgency of passing the DREAM Act in the 112th Congress and renewing hope for DREAM students. As a proud co-sponsor of H.R. 1842, entitled the Development, Relief, and Education for Alien Minors Act of 2011, better known as the DREAM Act, I urge President Obama and my colleagues in the House and the Senate to put their ideological differences aside and do what is right. Now more than ever, we must give these young people an opportunity to pursue their college and career goals resolve their immigration status, and earn their citizenship. The DREAM Act would allow these students the opportunity to earn legal status if they were 15 years old or younger when they were brought to, to this country, to America. If they are long-term U.S. residents and have lived in the United States for at least five years before the enactment of the law, have good moral character, graduate from high school or obtain a GED, and complete two years of college or military service, and that they are in good standing. Having been brought by their parents to the United States as children, these young men and women know America as their home. Without question, DREAM students exemplify the best of American ideals, such as hard work, perseverance, and the desire to contribute to our nation's workforce, economy, and civic life. In the Rio Grande Valley of Deep South Texas and across the country, DREAM students have excelled in school and have become valedictorians and advanced placement scholars and student leaders despite facing difficult circumstances. As ranking member for the Subcommittee on Higher Education and Workforce Training, I have no doubt that the DREAM students can help America achieve President Obama's ambitious high school and college completion goals by the year 2020. Many of these students are working tirelessly to earn their high school and college diplomas and aspire to become professionals in the sectors of our workforce which need their talent, their skills, and their ingenuity. In the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, better known as STEM, 
Our country must train a new generation of high spirit and spur technological innovation. Simply stated, these talented youth can help our nation increase its global competitiveness and be the innovators of tomorrow. With that, I yield back. Gentleman yields back the remainder of his time.